Um, listen, on a much more serious note, I know that one of the things that you wanted to discuss in that article and that you decided to speak with that journalist about was the subject of racism in football, which has been a stain on football for, for decades now, for generations, actually. When you see another incident, like the Vinicius Junior one that we saw at Valencia hit the news uh, again, what does that trigger in you? What, what it does trigger is exactly what I said to Del Piero. You remember the time when I said nothing has changed? And unfortunately, the same story of Lukaku that shushed the crowd where it was seen as winding up the crowd. He got the second yellow, got the red. Vinicius Jr. got racially abused, put in a headlock, stepped out of it, and yes, he was upset, I guess. He got a red. Yes, we all know that after the great, the red were, were taken back. We know that, like, but at the time, there was, again, zero common sense. My story, John Bounds' story, everybody's story in that community is the same. Nothing has changed. Now, if we go back to Vinicius Jr., he plays for Real Madrid. We found out who it was. He's, he's in a way, a superstar protected. Can we talk about the normal black guy in the street then when there is no protection? What's, what's the story there? If Vinicius Jr. can get it like that, when we can find out what's happening, what, what are we talking about? I've never seen in my life, like, I, I, I'm going to use that analogy because I, I think it's, it's pretty relevant. When you go to a concert and someone is being stupid in it, and uh, I've seen the singer sometimes using words that he shouldn't be using, they don't kick the singer out, do they? If not, there's no more concert. So always it looks like, you know, the, the, the player has to pay the price, then he got a lot of support. We, we, we all know that, but that is too much. Enough is enough. So do you remember in 2013 when Kevin Prince Boateng walked off the pitch in an AC Milan game because there was a number of players that were being racially abused? And that was kind of held up, right, as this is the way that players should now tackle this problem. This is what the, the response should be. If that's not working, and you say that's unfair because then you're victimizing the victim even further, right? If fines aren't working, if closing stadiums isn't working, do we need to talk about taking points off team? Is that the only way that we will well, really affect change? I, I said it so many times. It has to be well put, well said, and we talked about walking off the field. Like, if you ask, if you ask any black guy, is that the right decision I, what, right now? They might say yes, but I want to know what other communities are thinking about it, what, what my teammates are thinking about it. You always ask us the question. You know what I'm going to say? I suffered of it, a lot of people suffered of it. Not only black people, not only my community, a lot of communities suffered of that on and off the field. But if you ask me, yes, but I want to know what other people are thinking. And yes, well, I think points deducted Thierry, so can, be, about, can be one. You talk about the other people, you talk about equality, we hear diversity a lot. When you talk about the other people, I mean, in terms of football, Go to the very top in terms of mm -hmm. FIFA, mm -hmm. your way for these organisations. Mm -hmm. What can they change? Are they doing enough? Are they going in the right direction or is it nowhere near what you feel is right? Nowhere near. They're not going in any direction. When you look at the field, you remember I mentioned it on the show. When you look at the field, it's diverse. And eyes can be pretty deceiving. So you're looking at something, but you remember I said that and you guys love when I said it one day, but eyes are useless if the mind is blind. Well, Kate, my mind is not blind. And being on the other side of the line, trying to find a job as a black manager, is not easy. Can we name how many CEOs or sporting director or managers that we have from other communities? Black, Muslim, Asian, etc. Can, can we name them? Go there and try to find out. Those are not my, my, my stats. Can we go and find out? Can we be in the race? We, a big we, W-E, capital. Can we be in the race? I go, even, I go even further. Can we be in the race to lose it? I'm not even talking about winning it. I can understand people as, as a, a, you know, a head start or whatever, but can I be in the race? The most important thing is to belong. I've not fit somewhere. I, I think it's that's important as well, Thierry, because when I finished football, I got offered to do broadcasting and I got offered to do coaching. And something in my head just said, 
I'm not going to get as, as good a chance in coaching as broadcasting. So I went with broadcasting. And that is just within my head as, as well. And he's going to take managers like you, Darren Moore, Vincent Company, Patrick Vieira, to lead the way so then we can see there's a, an opportunity for us. Yeah, but r right now, right here, and that's, that's my main point. And there is some, a point that I want to raise also that's very important, empathy. Whenever you ask in bracket, the, then you put the black question on the table, I hear the, I'm not black, I don't know what it means. Well, when you ask me if LBGT plus movement in the game or outside of the game or about women in the game or women outside of the game, I don't answer to you, I'm not a woman, do I? I'm, I'm not answering, I'm not part of any group. Ask my mom or ask my cousins. No, I answer because I have empathy. Sometimes I don't see the empathy when it comes to that, to that point. It seems like you roll the question and everybody's like, oh, let me ask my black friend. No, 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 I'm asking you. I know what my black friend will say to me or what I will say. This is something that's, ve that's very important. And sometimes I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't feel that. Can we be in the race? And there is something that I will add. Are we only good to entertain? And Kate, it's a rhetorical question. Let's go. Okay, so, I mean, if you had to give a message, right, to a team, to a player, to managers who see or hear a teammate, or hell, even somebody on the other side of the pitch, right, being racially abused, what would you, what would you prompt them to do? How would you say, hey, listen, please react this way? Look, I, I, I want to, I want to know what the teammates will say. I, I want to see the, the reaction of, a, of, of anyone that's been abused on the field, racially abused. I know what he feels. I know what he would like to do. But I would like the, the pack to be with him. And enough of always trying and talking. And I've talked about it already. No to racism on, on shirt and, and pictures and, and whatnot. Let, let's talk about it properly and do something properly about it. But again, empathy is already something that's, that, that's, that, can be, that can be great. Really. And, you know, and people don't even think about it. They don't even think about it because they've been you know, kind of looking at the field and they see diversity. But you step out of the field, there is no diversity. I, I, and I go back to your point, none, close to none. 